This horse is good medicine. Uh, how do you figure? He's a done horse. Sacred. But back long ago, in the camp of the Pawnee, no one knew this. The Pawnee were great farmers. But during the season of the hunt, they moved their camps to follow the buffalo. If you don't look at the camp, Grandmother, it'll only make your heart feel sad. I look at the camp because I can see they're moving. And soon we can go in and look for what is left behind. Someday, Grandmother, I will be a great hunter. And no more will you be without. Hey, I pray so, dirty belly. But if not, we will survive. Even if we must follow that camp with a coyote. Dirty Belly and his grandmother followed like ravens, picking up beads left behind. This is how it is told. Good soup. They left you behind on Pony. It is worthless. They left it for the coyotes. Hey, if we were Apache, we could eat it and be well. But we're a Pawnee and cannot leave it. Grandmother, we will take this horse with us. It will slow us down. We must follow the camp. Come now. You will carry our packs. We will travel well. If it will keep your tongue from wagging like leaves in the wind, bring it. On this day in the camp of the Wolf Clan, Buffalo Scouts returned bringing news of a holy sighting Chief Iron Spoon had prayed for. Iron Spoon, you have found the North Herd. It is so. They are in the valley, and he is there with them. Spotted bull. He is magnificent. His coat can be seen from the mountains. Men of this band gather, and old man speaks. In the valley, the buffalo have come. Among them, is the spotted bull. He who brings me the spotted robe shall receive 12 of my best ponies, 12 of my best horses, and the hand of my daughter, little new rider. This charge shall be an honorable one. Mount your ponies and gather below. The hunter on the fastest horse shall kill the spotted bull. What does Chief Loudmouth say today? Grandmother, the spotted bull has been seen in the valley, the low valley. The runner who brings the chief the robe wins 12 horses and the chief's daughter. The tall one who owns the Appaloosa will win. He always does. Hey, what are you doing? I must take this chance for us, Grandmother. Do not be foolish, child. We are laughed at enough. <laughs> Dirty Belly, if you come to sell us a pony, we left behind. <laughs> <laughs> the I wish to run in this race. Pick your place in the grass and prepare. When I give the signal, the charge begins. from this creek. Dig for the clay. Paint me with it. Prepare your ponies! Hurry.
The spotted bull was taken, but the hunters could not believe whose spear had made the kill. Dirty Belly was victorious beyond his dreams. It is the wandering boy, Dirty Belly. How can it be? <coughs> the runners have returned. The one with the spotted robe. The tall one with the Appaloosa? No, your grandson with the dun pony. Why do you torment an old woman? Go away and cease laughing at us. A strange thing has come about here today. But what is so is so. You have brought me the spotted robe, Dirty Belly. And in return, I give you 12 ponies and my daughter, Little New Rider. Great chief, your daughter is a fine woman. And 12 ponies would make my grandmother wealthy. But I choose to keep the spotted robe. <gasps> It did not matter how many ponies or blankets were offered to him, Dirty Belly refused to part with the spotted robe. You are kind, but the robe is for my grandmother. And the horse, he is mine. Ogolala! Ogolala! They are thinning. Dirty belly. Strike an enemy with the coup stick and leave him humiliated but unharmed was a war honor of the highest rank. This boy has some kind of great medicine. Or is it the pony? Only a warrior of exceptional skill and bravery could hope to cow coup in such a man. Most men die trying. Killed. I was not even wounded. My medicine is strong. I will go again.
done Pony. You were my medicine. My protector. You were a gift from the creator. And I disobeyed. I'm not lost you, my friend. Tirawa, the great mystery has been good. Tirawa has let me come back to a boy. After this, do as I say. No more, no less. Leave me there tonight, and when the sun appears, come for me. returned the next morning, he found yet another magnificent horse, more beautiful than the last. For twenty nights he did this, and found himself wealthy with twenty horses finer than the Pawnee nation had ever seen. He married little new rider, the chief's daughter, and had many children. When the old woman died, he wrapped her in the spotted robe, and let her make her journey with honor. The horse lived for many years, and so does the Pawnee legend of the Dun Horse.